Hello, this is a presentation about One Health Espiritu Santo, an outreach project of the Federal University of Espiritu Santo in Brazil. We welcome you to learn more about our goals, our team, and the importance of this project for our community. Our main goal is to disseminate information to the population about One Health. Therefore, we may prevent and control health risks for humans, animals, and the environment. We are very proud of having a diverse group involving undergrads, grads, professors, professionals, and all those interested in this team. We are also very interprofessional with vets, dentists, physicians, biologists, nutritionists, pharmacists, biomedicals, physical educators, nurses, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, and psychologists. In order to disseminate information about One Health, we use social media, we promote webinars and journal clubs, plan interventions in the community, and perform research. But uh, why is One Health so crucial in our state? Well, the state of Espírito Santo is located in the southeastern region of Brazil. It has an area of approximately 46,000 km square and an estimated population greater than 4 million inhabitants. Despite being a state with a small territory and population, given the dimensions of Brazil, Espírito Santo is the Brazilian state that produces the most granite, papaya and black pepper. Also, it is the second largest producers, producer of eggs and coffee and the third largest producer of cocoa. Espírito Santo also, Santo also stands out for having the greatest Brazilian marine biodiversity, emphasizing Guarapari, also famous for its monazitic sands. Unfortunately, in 2019, oil spills hit the Brazilian coast, affecting the state's beaches, damaging fishing and sea turtle breeding areas. The Doce River, which baths 26 municipalities in Espírito Santo and flows into the Regência Sea, was in 2015 severely affected by the rupture of the ore dam in Mariana, Minas Gerais, generating significant environmental, social and economic impacts. In Espírito Santo, there are notable remnants of the Atlantic Forest, one of the most biodiverse biomes on the planet, so defended by the patron of Brazilian ecology, Augusto Husky, born in Santa Teresa, a requisite global biodiversity hotspot. The Atlantic forest impacted by deforestation was in 2016 and 2017 affected by the re-emergence of sylvatic yellow fever. This event decimated entire groups of monkeys and resulted in dozens of human deaths. Besides, more than 70% of the Espírito Santo population lives in urban areas. Some health problems are recurrent, such as those related to diseases transmitted by the Aedes aegypti mosquito, such as dengue, chikungunya, and zika. Therefore, it is clear that there is no human well-being without balancing the environment and older living beings. One health which addresses the interconnection between human, animal and environmental health is vital for promoting health in the Espírito Santo. Given its unique characteristics, our state has excellent potential to contribute to the world's one health, helping to promote a better world for the living beings on the planet. One Health Espírito Santo is here to support actions aiming to reach this objective. Thank you.